Prepare yourself because I am about to disgust and gross you out because I'm gonna let you know about something that literally lives on everyone's face. Yes, your face included. And it's something called Demodex mites. And these little bad boys can actually cause acne and breakouts. So hang on tight because we're gonna get up close and personal with these little guys and I'm explain to you exactly what they are and what they're doing on your face. All right, Demodex mites are eight-legged arachnids that live on your skin. Yes, arachnids, just like spiders or ticks. They literally feed off of sebum, the oil that comes out of your face that causes acne, and they crawl into your hair follicles during the day while you're active, while they feed on your sebum, and then when you go to sleep, they crawl out of your hair follicles, and they mate with other mites on your face, laying new eggs and hatching new mites. Yeah. There are actually two types of Demodex. The first one is folliculorum, and then there's the brevis type. The ones that we're talking about that are on your face are the first type, and we actually get them from our parents when we're babies. So when our face is touching their face, when they're touching our face with their hands after they've touched their face. But then as adults, we spread our mites to other people's face through touch, either when we're you know kissing or when you touch your face and you touch someone else's face, and then they mate and they grow on their own. Is this grossing you out yet? <laughs> I feel like people with spider phobias, this is, it was hard for me to research this video, to be honest. Now these little guys can actually exacerbate skin conditions, especially things like rosacea, and they can actually cause acne if you have an overgrowth of them, and some people do have an overgrowth of them. The National Rosacea Foundation estimates that rosacea patients have up to 18 times more demodex mites than patients without rosacea, which is really interesting because that means that people who have rosacea, it could possibly be induced by demodex mites. So it's definitely something to look into. They also increase the amount of skin cells in the hair follicle, which if you're predisposed to having clogged pores and therefore pimples, that can cause you to break out more because more skin cells means more clumping of, you know, things that will clog the pores and then lead to pimples. So the symptoms of having an overgrowth of demodex mites are itchy and scaly skin, uh, redness, increased skin sensitivity, burning sensations, skin that feels rough like sandpaper and that comes from the extra uh, skin cells and eczema. So a lot of those things kind of, you know, symptoms that a lot of us have just from having sensitive skin or from having acne, but those are the ones that, you know, specifically you'll have, especially if you have a Demodex infestation. So how do we get rid of them if we find out that we have an overgrowth of the mites? Well, if you truly have an infestation, doctors can prescribe creams that will kill the mites as well as their eggs. But at home products with potent active ingredients, they work too. So things like uh, like benzoyl, benzoate, salicylic acid, selenium sulfide, sulfur, those are things that have been shown to actually kill some of the mites and kill some of the eggs. So actually an interesting story because my friend Daisy, she owns Banish, she's the CEO of it. She struggles with rosacea and she has really sensitive skin. And she was telling me that when she visited Budapest, uh, they have like really high levels of sulfur in their water. If you don't know what sulfur is, it's that thing that makes stuff smell like rotten eggs, like farts, and that's kind of weird. But she saw her rosacea massively improved because she was drinking the water she was having it on her body on her skin and so she actually came home and then made a product for banish called fighter gel that features sulfur because of that so yeah it's interesting because after now learning about demodex mites i don't know if that was the cause of her rosacea and if that's how she solved it but i just thought that was really interesting to learn when i was researching this topic as always if you guys want to ever check out banish it's my favorite skincare line they have freaking amazing products they're all made in small batches you can check it out it's brian5 for a discount of five dollars off an order of 50 or more it helps support the channel, but let's go on with this Demodex mite thing. So people with acne and other skin conditions that cause skin infections have a higher rate of total mites on their face, as well as having the mites resurface after eliminating them in the first place. So for people like us, we have a bigger chance of having these guys growing on our face. I know it's pretty gross, but one of you guys actually asked me to look into this topic and I thought it was really interesting when I started Googling it. I had to go down and look at these studies and look at everything that's, you know, like revolving around this topic because it is being researched, but it hasn't been researched a ton. And as I'm uncovering it, I'm slightly grossed out because I know that they're on my face right now, hiding in my hair follicles, waiting to come out and mate on my face. But this is very interesting and it does kind of shed a light on why some skin conditions won't be solved by using products and people will try a bazillion different products, change their diet and stuff, and then still have a lot of these problems. This is one of the potential reasons that people are breaking out. All of that being said, 
said, the good news for all of us who are learning about this right now is that the actual number of people with out of control infestations is actually pretty low. But again, you know, saying that if you're struggling with acne or rosacea or any other symptom, and it seems like nothing is really solving it, it's not that difficult to go to a dermatologist and say, hey, I want you to check for demodex mites. They can just quickly scrape your skin, put it under a microscope, boom right there. And maybe that's something that can change your whole freaking journey with your skin. And you just never would have known about it unless you came and checked out this video and subscribed to the channel, of course. All right, so there you have it. Now you know about something that you probably didn't even know existed before this video. And now you can know that you're never truly alone because you always have these demodex mites hanging out on your face. If you enjoyed this video, albeit maybe you're a little unsettled at this point, give it a big old thumbs up. It helps it get out to way more people. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you have other topics that maybe I haven't looked into or learned about because this came from one of you guys, leave it in the comments below. I appreciate the heck out of it. And always remember that you are not alone. You are beautiful and you're part of Team Acne. I'll see you skin bosses in the very next video.